The waiting game continues here at federal court as the jury wraps up its third day of deliberations. Today, they asked to see more exhibits, documents from both the prosecution and the defense. Moving out day for the defense. Boxes filled with items needed during the trial were loaded into a car outside the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit as the jury in the Kilpatrick corruption case continued deliberating. Lawyers from both sides of the case had occupied conference rooms near Judge Nancy Edmonds courtroom, which has been home base for everyone since early September. Eight women and four men are deciding whether to convict Kwame Kilpatrick, his father Bernard Kilpatrick, and Bobby Fur Ferguson of racketeering and other charges. Now the defendants and the attorneys have to stay near the courthouse and they have to wait. What are you guys doing right now? Uh, we're knitting, sitting around knitting. All jokes aside, Bernard Kilpatrick's lawyer John Shea says no one expected the deliberations for a trial that has lasted five months to be fast. Nothing in this case has, has been quick. So, um, what it's like for us is you, you, you try to stay uh, uh, on top of other work that you've been putting off for five months. The jury has been asking to see various exhibits from the trial. Shea says none of the requests have risen to the level that the judge needs to get all of the lawyers back into court to place the jury questions on the record. It's just housekeeping and uh, the judge uh, needs to communicate with the lawyers that these notes are coming out, but it's not like there's any real decision making that's that's being made. Shea also says there's no way to tell which way the jury is leaning based on the types of exhibits they're asking to see. You throw a splash of color on a wall and you try to figure out what the picture is going to be, you know, when they're all done. You, you just can't tell. You can't tell. Um, and it's and it's totally normal. I've never, you know, sat through jury deliberations where jurors didn't ask for exhibits. Deliberations will resume tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and of course the 7 Action News investigators will be here to bring you the verdict once the jury makes its final decision. Reporting at the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.